In this tutorial, you will learn to start in operating mode, add and edit default attributes, and understand the automatic field detection tool available in SMS Mobile. To begin an operation, go to the Field Operations tab and select the operation you wish to start. The following screens will vary depending on general settings and what data you have previously saved or imported into the SMS Mobile software. If you are starting with an empty project, you will now be asked to select what grower, farm, and field you would like to begin recording data for. You can select existing entries using the drop-down menus or add new items using the Add button. If you are working in a project where you previously logged boundaries or imported them into SMS Mobile and you are located in one of the field boundaries, the Grower, Farm, and Field selection screen will be skipped. This dialog is skipped because it knows that you are currently located in a field and will select that field for you. If you are near a field or fields, then you will be presented with a list of fields that are within 1,000 feet or 305 kilometers, thereby auto-filtering your field list to those that you are closest to. You can also choose to manually select a field if none of the listed fields are the desired location. The automatic detection of fields does require that the auto-select fields by location option, located under the general settings, is turned on. Select the field you want to work with and click OK. The next screen will allow you to create a new data set or edit an existing data set. In order for the Edit Existing option to be available, the field you selected will have to have a data set saved under it for the operation you are currently working in. When creating boundaries, there will be a third option available to edit the existing field boundary. Choose the appropriate selection. On the following screen, you will have different tabs across the bottom. The General tab is where you will define what you want the new data set to be called. It defaults to the current date and time, but can be edited to more accurately reflect your work. The operation values will only be available to edit when working with coverage or general logging data sets. Boundaries, soil sampling, and crop scouting data sets will automatically be saved to the correct operation. If working with an operation that allows you to record a product, you can choose an existing product from the drop-down or use the Add button to create a new one. You can also choose an existing instance level or create a new one. The Resources tab will allow you to select operators, vehicles, and implements to associate with the new data set. You can choose from existing entries or create new entries using the Add buttons across the bottom. You can also create and select containers to link to the new data set if the operation you are working with warrants that information. Click OK after making all necessary selections. All of the items on this screen are optional and are not required to be populated with information. The Edit Default Attribute Values window will now open. On this screen, you can enter data that will be used as the default for all objects that are created in this data set. This can be very helpful if you are working with logging several objects that all share common characteristics. For example, when soil sampling, if all sampling cores will be 6 inches, you could populate the sampling depth on this screen and not have to assign each. If changes are needed to individual sites, you can make that change once in the operation. You cannot change what attributes are displayed here when starting an operation, but can make changes from the Operations menu under the Setup tab. If you have a custom operation or wish to edit one of the existing operations, you can enter the Operations screen and add, edit, and remove any unwanted attributes from the list. You can also input default values from this tool. Adding default values through the operation menu means that you won't have to assign it for each field that you are working with, as it will be populated with the default value you entered for the field condition. Click OK after making all necessary changes to the default attribute values. The main operating screen of SMS Mobile will now open where you can begin creating new objects, editing existing ones, 
and navigating to any necessary points within the field. You have now learned how to start a new operating mode, use the automatic field detection, and input default attribute values. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.